Good evening, folks. You're watching Volgor's beer reviews, and this time I'm reviewing New Belgium Shift Pill Lager. I saw this one time. I think it was a could been a year ago. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, saw it at Mini Mart, <clears throat> and uh, you know, just looking at it, and it just looks cool. It's got gears. It's chain driven. You know, it just looks very, you know. Manly, I guess, because it's, you know, mechanical, gears, you know, whatever. That's the first thing I, th I think of. So, it seems like the per it's an awesome, manly, just beard that isn't just sloppy, cheap, American adjunct. Yeah, that's just my first impression. So, let's see what it actually is. That is delicious. Oh, wow. Let me pour this in this glass, which I just used for an aloe vera drink. And uh, I'm not worried about it bothering anything. This is definitely not a typical, you know, lager beer, which I. I don't think this is, is it? Um, oh yeah, pale lager. So it was, instead of just being a lager, it's also pale. Which probably means more of a hop taste. Okay. I got a little of a head to it. The color's pretty uh, golden. I don't know. Kind of like a citrus or something. Citrus. That's what color it is, alright? You can see. Not dark. Um, it's not thin at all. It's it's somewhere in the middle. You know, you can see through it, but everything is very blurry because it's pretty hazy. A decent carbonation. Second sip, I guess. Mm. Actually, uh, <clears throat> it's funny I said cit uh, citrus because it does have a really, in my opinion, a robust citrus flavor. Not citrus that's sweet like a shock top or a blue moon, which I haven't had a, a regular blue moon in a long, long time. But I'm pretty sure shock top and I'm pretty sure blue moon's the same way is that it's kind of a sweeter. Uh, Citrus taste, but this is more like a IPA type of sweeter, sweeter, uh, sweet, but just not very, not really hoppy, just hoppy enough that you know, you, you know, it's there. It's just not, you know, it's not really strong. Now, if you just drank cheap pale lager, or if you just drank uh, cheap American adjunct lagers. You know, this would be really bitter, and you probably wouldn't like it. But, you might like it if you drink it enough. And, you know, a lot of people just, we don't like hoppier beers or darker beers or any other different style of beer. Um, because it's too strong, it's too bitter. Well, okay, get a, a less strong one and then just work your way up, but... I know it sounds silly. It kind of sounds silly, really, because why would I change? Just drink cheap, crappy beer, or you can try to upgrade and, and taste something outside the box. Keep on trying, and actually, after a few a few beers of here and there, try them out. It tastes a lot. It actually tastes better because you get more used to it. It's like at first you don't like spinach. You don't like. You, most people they don't like spinach when they're little, and then when you get older. Or vegetables, they do. I think beer is the same way. You start off with something. When I started, uh, mine was Deschutes. Uh, Deschutes Black Butte Porter, I think it was, or Obsidian Stout. And I thought it was so bitter, it was so gross, I, I could barely drink any of it. But the other one I had was a Miller, and 
I it took me forever to drink that Miller. But point is, you know, at first that was when I was 21. It was the first beers I had. So it took me forever to drink a 40 of Miller High Life. And uh, I had to burp like every drink. It was it was hysterical. Hysterical how bad it was to drink beer. And, and now, you know, something with hops and like actual ingredients, you know, uh, well, Colin, Fort Collins, Colorado, 5% ABV, by the way. Um, you know, it's, now I can drink something with hops. I, I, I like all kinds, you know, beer. I don't, I, there isn't really a, a type of beer I don't like, except for, I guess, Mexican beer. There's, a, besides Mexican beer, there isn't really, I mean, I like, I, I, I'll drink them. It's not like I don't like them. It's just, I find they're overpriced and, uh, just don't really taste as good as the price is compared to what you can get for the same price. Anyways, enough of that rant. <coughs> Excuse me, by my tape. <coughs> Hold on. It's also <coughs> this almost reminds me of a Sierra Nevada, but just really, really toned down. It's just a perfect, a per, really a perfect uh, lager. Um, then again, the other really good one is. Uh, I think it's these shoots. XPA. Ex uh, Experimental Pale Ale. Uh, there's a lot of great beers. and Well, at least that one. That one's in Oregon. This one. I already said, but Fort Lewis. Fort Collins, Colorado. I've got the uh, Beer Advocate on my phone. Uh, beer Advocate score is 82. Good. And the bros say 88, very good. Their average, or damn it, the submitted average review is 3.6. <laughs> uh, it should be way better than that, but whatever. Um, yeah, in case you didn't know, I'm seven minutes in the video. This is a really good beer. I gotta give this at least what an 8.5. I mean, or maybe even maybe even a 10. You know, I'll, I'll say this is like one of the best. Pale loggers I've had. Uh, it, it. That being said, I don't know how much I spent on it. I, I feel really stupid if I spent like two dollars on a can. Also, I should probably get to that really quick. Um, so I was with my my friend and we went from uh, one town looking for parts for his car wrecking yard to uh, another town like I don't know 20, 10 miles away. I'll, I'll just say it, Albany to Turner and. Uh, Anyways, I went to a, a mini mart because I always want to go to see what different beers I can find. And uh, when I sit, when I first saw this in uh, Corrales, I guess um, I don't know. It's just kind of weird to see towns. Um, when I just thought about getting it, they they had it in a in a single like 16 ounce can, and then after that they didn't have it and they just had it like a. Uh, a twelve dollar ten pack or something stupid like that. I'm like, no, I don't want to buy uh, twelve dollars of ten beers or I don't know whatever it was. Maybe it was fourteen dollars or twelve. No, yeah, I think it was twelve dollars for ten beers. It was weird like that. So I didn't feel no, I didn't want to spend that much on something. Whatever, you know, it is it is worth it, but I don't want to spend that much, especially if you don't have the money or extra money or money. Damn, that is a good beer. It doesn't, like, my throat's been hoarse and sore lately. So, uh, it's not, like, it's not sticking to my throat. It's just going right down, and it, it just tastes delightful. And it just, it doesn't irritate the throat. Mm. That is so good. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, so we went to a mini mart. <clears throat> I got two of those cans, which I should have gotten more, and I should have paid attention to how much it was. But I gave the guy ten bucks, gave him a change, and I count. I think it might have been six I got back. But that doesn't sound right. I don't think I would spend two dollars a piece. No, I no no. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't know.
I guess I'll never know. Um, unless I text my friend and he tells me, but... He, I don't know. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into this. People that watch this video, you probably don't care. I'm going to look into this, and I'm going to find out. Um, but anyways, got those two beers. And, and then, in conclusion, I don't know. I guess I can, re I can see what one person says. Okay, oh, here we go. It's very simple. Nose, light grain hint of sulfur. What? Sulfur? Can't really smell the best right now. I can't really smell it. I don't know what to say. Oh, I can smell a can. I smell like hop and... I don't know. Whatever. I can't smell it. Um, yeah. Light gray hint of sulfur. Brilliant straw. Two inch of fluffy bone. White foam cap. Creamy light bodied. Above average. <coughs> Carbonation. Palette. Light grains. Creamy. Slight. Vegetal. Crisp hop finish. Refreshing with a good balance between the hops and the malts. Perfect summarization. Um. Yeah. Some people are saying dry, bitter aftertaste, but they probably don't drink that many different beers. This is a good starter beer to get in something diff that's different and going upstage. Um, yeah, I just, before I, I cut out, which this is going to be a longer video, but I think I'm going to upload this one because I feel better about this video. Um, shift Pale Lager. Also, every factory uh, reset my phone. It's working so much better now. Um, okay. Come on. Bring up the stuff. Okay. Shopping. More. Shopping. Shopping? Oh, you can't buy beer on the internet, apparently. But if you go to walmart.com, you can see the prices of whatever beer you want, just to get an idea. But anyways, I'm pretty sure it's expensive, but if you were just going to buy one beer that was expensive, this is a beer worth paying for. It's expensive. Not any Mexican beer. Modelo, Tecate. The only Mexican beer I approve of is Carblanca, because you can get a quart for $2.99. And it's a dollar cheaper than all the other Mexican beer, at least at a uh, shopping cart uh, around here. But yeah, uh, a, a 9.5 to a 10. Uh, it's just an awesome beer. Shift Pale Lager. Just you gotta try it out at least once. If if you if you like Blue Moon and Shock Top, but you want like a real adult like beer with more of a hop flavor and not just the citrus and the sweet you want some hop and malt just bam there you go the Belgian shift pale lager I approve of that one thanks for watching see you next time